We just started our food tour here in Hanoi. We're super excited. We heard so many good things about the food. Yeah, so it's with Ha Food Tours, and we have just met our tour guide. His name is Chris. Chris, nice Chris. to meet you. Chris, nice to meet you. Tommy and Sammy. Yeah. 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 Anything that you want to try? I think we all want to try egg coffee. Egg coffee. Pho. 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 With the hot rum. Okay, got hot rum. What the hot rum? Typical for breakfast, but oh, okay. in Vietnam, you can eat anything you like, whenever you like, no rules at all. <laughs> See how we drive? <laughs> that is how we eat. No rules at all. <laughs> no rules at all. <laughs> and beer and water also include in my tour. Yes, so don't beer. Worry if you guys are thirsty, okay? Good. And lastly, uh, the tour today will be like three and a half to four hours, okay. depending on how fast we eat and we walk, okay? Okay. okay. So let's start the tour right now. All right. Cool. This way, please. All right. So Chris has told us that tomorrow is Tet Lunar New Year here in Vietnam. He said 90% of the businesses are going to be closed out. The first thing you noticed when we got here was everybody's buying the peach blossom trees and the kumquat trees because they decorate their house with these trees, similar to how we decorate our Christmas trees at home. I mean, uh, green light we go, red light we still go. Yeah. Yeah. And yellow we go faster. <laughs> and yellow we go faster. Green light we go, red light we go, and yellow we go faster. We did not know about the Tet Lunar New Year, but I'm so excited we're here the day before to actually get a feel of the normal craziness of Hanoi. I love how lively it is, how crazy and busy it is. That's a really good feel. I just can't imagine this being so quiet like a ghost town. We'll see, his ghost town is probably different meaning than what it is for me. So he told us we're starting off with a drink, which sounds perfect, I hope it's the local beer actually. I guess they have a local beer here that they serve straight out of the keg. It's all like home brewed. I hope that's what we're trying. I think it's a light beer too, but can't go wrong with any kind of beer. Guess what are these? Sugar cane. Bamboo. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. No, you, you bamboo. believe that we squeeze the bamboo and we drink the juice inside? It is sugar cane. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I am right. Our favorite drink. Our favorite drink during the hot season. I was like, dang, I got it wrong, but I actually got it wrong. Smells good. Oh, yeah, for you. Thank you. Let's try blue. 50 cents. One mm. cup. 50 cents. Okay, I want one for me too. So we're just trying okay. our so sugar cane good. juice. It's very sweet, but it also is like very mild. It's very refreshing to drink. And at the very end, you get like a little aftertaste of like lemony. I don't know where that comes from, but it's delicious and refreshing. And this is the oldest sugar cane juice shop in the old quarter. 50 cents a cup. And the name of the dish is the Bun Bo Nam Bo Bun B U N. That means the fermented rice noodle. And Bo B O means the beef. Nam Bo means the southern way. So in here they serve for you the beef noodle salad, but cooking in the southern way. I will order for to you guys. Go to any Vietnamese restaurant. That is always clean and dry. Always. It's already been washed, but they put here for all day long. So we just want to remove the dirt on the top. And that's it. We're good to go. And guess what it is? Lime. Nope. Uh, oh. Kumquat? Baby kumquat. Kumquat. Exactly. I was going to say green kumquat. Green kumquat. Exactly. <laughs> Way to go. Kill it. Feel it. <laughs> We're one to one right now. <laughs> what was your first point? <laughs> <laughs> you if you want to try the real cuisine of the food in here, you need to go to the family Russian because they are all experts in the dish. And furthermore, they do their job for a long time. Generation, past to generation. Like that one. First dish from the south of Vietnam. Second dish from the central. The third one gonna be like in the north in here. So just through the food today, I will take you guys to go through Vietnam. Just through the food. And understand our cultural easiest way. Through your stomach. <laughs> First thing you see in here, this one, is a Vietnamese pickle. Unripe papaya and carrot. That's it. It's gonna give you like sour and crunchy flavor. Fried onion, uh, stir fried beef, this one here is a bun, fermented rice noodle, uh -huh. and lettuce at the bottom of the dish. See, it is like a little bit of the dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. It is like the combination of the fish sauce and also the juice of the beef when they stir fry it. So to eat that things, we need to mix them up. We try around like uh, six to seven dishes today, but we will see. Oh. So like make sure to prepare your stomach well, okay? Yes. Yeah. Need a lot of rooms inside, compared together. Boon. Ba. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Boon ba nam bo. Boon ba nam bo. 
That's it. This is our dish. This is the vegetarian version. Tom and Jackie got the beef version. I think a lot of these dishes are centered around the meat. And what does that do? It's like to uh, It's very refreshing. I have actually a lot more flavor than yeah, I, I thought it was yeah. going to have with healthy beef and the beef broth. It's very good. Wow, that first dish was delicious. I can't wait to try the next thing. He said, welcome to Vietnam. We're the least friendly walking country. We get to go with one. Okay. Want some beer? Sure. Okay. One, two, three, four. Good. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the name of this dish is Boon Bo Hue, and Boon is the vermicelli rice noodles, and Hue is the name of the city where this dish originates from. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Okay, let's. <laughs> When you order a dish with broth in Vietnam, you should always try the broth first. So good. Oh. Because the broth is a spirit, and it's the soul of the dish. They need at least oh. 8 hours to make only the broth. So when you try the broth, if the broth is good, so that means the dish is good. This one, banana flour. Banana flour. Very fresh one. Hmm? And beans brown. That is the herbs for you to eat like with your broth in here. If you're going to add chilies to your broth, you don't use the ends you heat with, but you use the butt end of the stick to take them out and put them in. That makes a lot of sense. Steam roll pancake, literally. Steam roll pancake. Vietnamese is big word to compare to English, okay? Because of the French in food. And for the first thing you can see, that is the liquid air. That is the conjunction of two things, water and rice flour. And then that is the gear, homemade steamer. Okay. The thing you see on the top, the white thing there, not the egg, that is like the very high quality pie of soup. The woman, she take like a little bit of liquid, pour that into the soup layer. Spread it out, close it for around like 50 seconds. It's me enough for the heat to turn the liquid into a very fresh and thin rice paper. And then the woman inside there will roll it with two things, pork and black fungus. Pork is like their normal meat in Vietnam. And black fungus is a cut mushroom, if you ask. Vietnamese people and Chinese people will call that mushroom is the ear mushroom. That is how they make it. The pancake is already cut into the small pieces. Okay. Very easy. On the top, that one, fried onion and the meat floss, shrimp floss. Okay, so pick a piece of them, dip that into a dipping sauce, and enjoy. Crazy. It's not as like chewy as I thought it was gonna be. It's definitely softer and like more pancakey than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be more of like the rice paper that you put on spring rolls, but it's definitely not like that. Good um, saltiness with the crispy onions on top, and then it was beef in the middle, pork, and pork in the middle, and you dip it in the fish sauce and. Eat it up. Bon Quay. Bon Quay. Bon Quay. What's the eggs about? The egg there. What? Two more is coming. Just to eat? Just to eat. It is still running, so you don't want to break it. Oh. You want to put it into your spoon. May I borrow a chopstick, please? Yes. To get the egg into your spoon. Now, just like that. And now you dip it in here. Okay. And then you finish everything in just one bite. The whole thing? The whole thing. What? One bite. <laughs> <laughs> now take a little bit of the fish sauce. Now you feel about the creamy inside your mouth. It is creamy, it is tasty. Oh, it tastes oh. so good. No. <laughs> really? So yes. Try them, try them. Try them, try them. Okay. That is really good. This is new for me because I don't usually eat egg yolks. You like it well uh, done. Uh, well right? done. I'll try it though. Okay? Don't break the yolk, okay? Okay. Absolutely. Don't break the yolk. I don't like runny yolks either and I love it. Number one rule, do not break the yolk. Oh guys, way too much. Okay, dip it in there. Dip it in there. 
Take a little fish sauce here. Okay. Take a big bite. There we go. Is it too much, Jackie? In one bite? Come on, Sammy, you got this. <laughs> I don't think I can do it, Tommy. Okay, here we go. Bottoms up. Your mouth is pretty big for this. There's fish sauce with it. And now slowly cooling. Isn't it good? That's freaking delicious. It is. Something about that yogurt mm, and the fish great. sauce. You'd like it. You gotta do it. That is so good. I really did not want to try that. That is delicious. The combination of the crunchy and the soft and the fish sauce, that's really good. The New Year, so they sell the New Year sauce. All red and what colors? This is my absolute favorite street. This is called Decoration Street and they change it based on the holiday that's coming up. And right now the entire street is red for the Tet holiday. And red brings good luck for the New Year. How great is this? right now and I will tell you about the history of the city also after this place I take you to go to my hood in the old day oh. back to my hood born in the old quarter but move out the old quarter for the last 10 years because of one thing living condition in the old quarter is worse in the whole city nice to go to here to entertain to enjoy all good food but worse to live in here every street in the old quarter always have the small alley okay. because in the old day one big hole like that one Two to three story was belong to one rich family, and they did not build the house big or wide. They built the house deep, small, and tall, block after block and after block. Because in Vietnam we tax the house based on the width of the house, so that's why they built the house like small and deep to reduce the tax. That's it. French people came to Vietnam. They put the end to our last dynasty, so we no longer have a king. But after we defeat them, we are in 1955. We are not used to with a new system. So the economy in 1955 was really, really bad. And the amount of homeless people was huge. And the government, they need to make a movement. They took back all the house of the rich people and executed all the master. My great-grandfather was a master and they executed him too. Most of people at that time, they are starving. They are dying in the street. So they need a revolution, really. And the government, when they took back the house, they built teamwork between houses to split it to other people to have a home. But they also create a problem. When they split the house, they cannot split the water system. So that's why now there are a lot of families live inside the alley. They still share the same communal kitchen and the same communal bathroom. And that is the reason why the living condition in here is worse. You don't have your own kitchen. You don't have your own bathroom. But you need to share it with your neighbors. So now, let's go inside the alley and let's see how people live under the worst condition. Well, you will see soon on your left hand side after that work, after coming to the kitchen. First one. Okay. That's the kitchen. And in here, we only have one room to do everything. One room for living room, for dining room, and for bedroom. And it is also a house for family with three generations to live inside. Welcome to my primary school in the old day. Oh, yeah. I told you, I take you guys back to my hood. And this oh, one here is my hood. hood. <laughs> in Vietnam, we spent 12 years of basic education. We have a right to choose a second language that we wish to learn. So for me and for the 60% of the students in here, we choose English as our second language. The rest can choose anything they like. So this school in the morning is the time for primary school. But in the afternoon, it is the time for secondary school. So they share the same school together. What is the thing that most, most family we need? I love family. Yeah, I love, yeah, for sure. But what do they need? Electricity. Exactly, electricity. Bam, six points. <laughs> Ten points. Ten points. So like, you know, like you need electricity. So if you want to know how family, you count for that one. Electric box. Oh. 
one small electric box oh. is represent for huh. one family. Here mm -hmm. is four times by five and times by two, which means 40 families live inside the back of the alley. Wow. The signal here is everywhere to, for you to see. Just need to stay in here long enough and you will know all of the yeah. answer for this evening. Okay, let's keep going. Chicken white pork. But in here they also have the version of the chicken pork with the broth. So it's up to you to choose with or without the broth. So this is our fourth stop and we are trying dry pho. He says we can order pho with the broth anywhere, but we can only order the dry pho in Vietnam. So that's what we're having and it's with chicken. So it's the pho of the south of Vietnam. So every dish is made for you with that cup rice noodle can be considered as pho. So like we have four versions of the pho in here. With the broth one, the dry one, the raw one and the deep fry one. Okay. Mix them up. Instead of fish sauce, you have I'm gonna sauce. tell you, I like to eat vegetarian, but I do love some chicken. <laughs> oh, I see. You have chicken, you have like peanut, you have fried onion, papaya. Cheers. Yes, like you love food, but you don't eat too much. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Oh, she eats quite a bit. <laughs> I love the fresh cilantro with the soy sauce on the noodles and the crunchy peanuts. What do you call it? Yin and yang. Perfect yeah. balance. Very good. The new Vietnamese donut, okay? I will order like two for you guys. So please, like, have a choice. Number one is the best seller. The coffee bun. Woo! I'll take one. Yeah. Two, number one? Tommy chocolate, number one. I'll take oh, Terry, it's half Jackie. Okay. Show us how it's done. Be careful, it's running. Something will be running outside. Oh, wow. Look no, at that. Oh, it's warm too. And this one is plain or all hey. something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Condensed milk on the inside, the vanilla does. I know, it's good. To the best view, you see the square in here. So let's get inside and let's smell some coffee. So we are on the street that never sleeps and we're headed into the first coffee shop ever opened here in Old Town. Oh, it smells so oh my good. God, that is <laughs> smells like smells. Bring it up. <laughs> Drop the coffee to your mouth, to your tongue. Hold it, think about the flavor, and slowly, slowly swallow. How was it? It's so good. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but this coffee is delicious. Strong, not bitter, lots of flavor. It sits really well on your tongue. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. I can't decide how many bags I want to buy. <laughs> that is the question. It was delicious, and I just bought the most expensive coffee ever, and it's weasel. Don't be, don't be like that. I'm not. It's twenty-six dollars a bag you know, for two hundred fifty grams. So behind me is the famous Beer Street. We're definitely coming back here. Try all the local brews. Oh wow! What's it called? 
Fresh, fresh beer. Fresh, fresh, fresh beer. beer. Fresh beer. Salud. Salud. So this beer is straight out of the keg. Only cost a quarter. Very fermented, but strong taste. Only 3% alcohol, so you can drink a lot of it. It's good. This is like French influence, right? Exactly, French influence. Seeing the French people came to Vietnam, we learned three things from them. First thing they told to us, you guys need to have fun first. How to have fun, make a beer. They told us how to cook a beer. First thing, after we have a party, everyone get hungry. You need to tell us about it. But get the second thing. So happy, stomach full, go to sleep. What you need in the morning? Coffee. Coffee, exactly. That is three things we learned from the French people. Very well organized. <laughs> The original place for the egg coffee since 1946. It's finally time to try it. Thank I you. love how they okay. serve it in coffee so, so water. Good. First step, you try a cream on top first. You okay. try a small spoon of the cream. Try the cream. Wow, it's so thick. Good. Oh, like, like, like a meringue. Or like a tiramisu. Yeah. Like tiramisu or a meringue. It's so thick and good and creamy and sweet. Last but gentle. Wow. When it starts to become like more liquid and it is bent together, it will be good to go. Traditional egg coffee. Here we go. Oh my gosh. That's like a fresh espresso with like that creamy, sweet whipped egg on top. It's almost like a fluffy condensed milk. It's delicious. And the coffee is so strong. I've had way too much coffee today. That's why like, before the French people came to here, we did not have any milk. So it was impossible for the grandpa to make a cappuccino. So instead of milk, he improvised. It's just one thing that he had the most at that time, chicken egg. He took the egg yolk, come back with honey and sugar, three things only. And by break scientifically with this cup, now they call egg coffee or aka okay, Vietnamese cappuccino. The new Vietnamese symbol. Oh. Cappuccino, I like it. Uh, the foreign people they said that if you guys go to Hanoi and you are not yet to try the egg coffee, that means you are not really into the city. Yeah. Definitely must try. Price one cup, one dollar. Wow. Only one dollar. A little cup of love. It's so good. They opened the new shop in Yokohama in Japan. Price one cup in there, ten dollars. In here, one dollar. They import the chicken egg from here today just to make the coffee. Wow. <laughs> Feel you, free to contact that. me, okay? Thank yeah, okay, you, we'll Chris. do that. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you and so much, Chris. So nice meeting you. Thank you for all the we information. It. We did. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Okay, good night. So, we just finished up our food tour. It was excellent. We tried so many different dishes and we got a very good intro to Vietnamese food. And we're excited to continue eating these dishes along the rest of our trip. And now, after a long day, it is time for bed.